You gotta love it. Just listen to that. It's such positive, cheerful music because today is the official release date of Yoshi's Woolly World. And I'm hyped. I am truly hyped. It is my first Nintendo game that I'm very excited for in quite a long time. Anyway guys, how are you? David DeFranco here from DavidDeFranco.com And welcome to the weekend's uh, vloggity vlog we like to call this. Guys, I gotta warn you. If you're not a gamer, you're not gonna enjoy this weekend's vlog. Because I'm gonna be talking about Yoshi's Woolly World that's arriving later today. And... Right there. Okay, maybe you can't really see that because it's a digital copy. It's not a physical copy, but I was lucky enough to get my hands on Halo 5 last night. Hence my Twitch stream for about two and a half hours. Awesome, awesome game. The first mission was good. The second mission where you jump in as Master Chief, that's really good. And don't worry, I'm not going to give any spoilers away in regards to the storyline. Then the third mission was cool. And then right there, I was forced to wrap it up because I'm officially under an embargo. So I can only show you guys the first three missions. Whether it's gameplay on Twitch, gameplay on YouTube, whatever. But me personally, I can play the entire campaign. Um, and I'm hoping to beat that tonight. That way I can concentrate on, on um, Yoshi's Woolly World. Unfortunately, I do not have access to multiplayer yet. That goes live, I think, next Thursday or Wednesday. I'm pretty sure Thursday. But either way, I am hyped. And Microsoft or Xbox, if you guys happen to be watching, thank you so much for hooking me up with early access. And now we're playing some Mario Paint. Oh, baby. Seriously though, I've been a Halo fan since the beginning and I'm just honored to be able to play Halo 5 pretty much two weeks ahead of release. And let's face it, this is one of this year's biggest games, if not the biggest game. So between that and Black Ops 3 and Yoshi's Woolly World and the occasional session of GTA Online and Rocket League, I have plenty of gaming to keep me busy between now and Christmas. And yes, I realize Black Ops 3 isn't out yet, but it's going to be out before you know it. And of course, you cannot forget about Rise of the Tomb Raider, which is just going to be incredible. And actually, I'm glad it's an Xbox One exclusive because I've been playing my PS4 a lot. So it felt nice to give my Xbox One some attention last night with Halo 5. And now I'll be giving my Wii U some attention tonight with Wooly World. So it's nice to jump from console to console. All right, there you go. There is my lengthy morning update. But I know my fellow gamers appreciate the information. Maybe. Let's make today a good day because I'm hoping to record a video. And check it out. That right there is a very heavy package that I had to bring in this morning around 8.30. Like very heavy. Oh my god. This is an 8 cube organizer. I am definitely hyped about this. So basically, I'm looking to get back into working on my office again because I admit I took like a week or two off just to start getting some work done on my computer again. But this is my next project. I want to get this cube organizer, I'm to focus cannon, this cube organizer replaced with an 8 cube organizer. So obviously just one is 6 and I measured it. It goes up to 57.8 inches high, which just happens to be right under the outlet. So I'll put the ticks clock on the very top shelf to not only look awesome, but it's also gonna hide the outlet and a cable or two. So, that should be fun. Now, I'm not sure yet if I wanna make that my official Amiibo shelf, because I really like how the Amiibo look over here. But the only problem with that is, when I add new Amiibo to a shelf, it throws off the balance. Having a cube organizer, uh, you know, uh, square by square by square by square and so on and so forth forces me to be even. I could keep an even amount of um, amiibo on each shelf whereas with that one that's just balanced visually if that makes sense. I'm sure my fellow OCD organizers out there know exactly what I'm talking about. It's all about looking good. That's simply what I'm going for. It's all about looking good. Hi right, David. Stafu! Make some coffee! My favorite brand of cake up and it's not even technically a cake up, it's more of a single cup. San Francisco Bay Gourmet Coffee Breakfast Blend. I drink it all day, so it's not exactly just breakfast. Plus, what's wrong with having breakfast all day, right? Just ask McDonald's. 
Speaking of this breakfast all day thing at McDonald's, allow me to rant for a second. First of all, I'm not a huge McDonald's fan, so it's not like I get passionate about hotcakes and sausage and hash browns or whatever. Because honestly, McDonald's hash browns, they're good, but Wawa's hash browns are much, much better. David learned to talk. But really, um, there's something about the aftertaste that bothers me, and Wawa hash browns taste perfect. Anyway, that's not my rant. Um, because I really, really do enjoy, um, McDonald's burritos. Anyway, my rant is, and I cannot confirm this because I don't really care all that much, so I haven't confirmed it myself, but I've seen from others that the McDonald's all-day breakfast is only available for, what, like, four or five items? Is that true? And, if so, are they at least the popular items? So, let me know in the comments right below, I'm curious. Are, uh, you, you a fan of McDonald's breakfast? Or do you prefer to eat real food? That's not a diss at McDonald's, because believe me, I eat processed food all the time. It's just I know some people out there despise McDonald's. I don't. I think it's good. I rarely have it, but man, when I do, it's a nice treat. David, you're doing it again. Focus on making your coffee. Focus. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is my sexy time music, if you can't tell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is that a bit much? The mail just came, and there's a chance UPS may have handed off my game to USPS. Oh, wait. At least I got something. I was hoping it was gonna be, uh, Yoshi's Willy World. But it's Munch Pack! Sweet! I shall record this video next week. Because today, I just wanna do my tech call. Talk about Yoshi's Woolly World, my amiibo. Is that it? Yeah, let me see, let me see. Yay, Maui's home. Look at that timing. Hey, Mal. How are you? You're so cute, you're so cute. Junk mail. Right into the recyclables. Maui, come on inside. Oh, good, go, 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 yes. Huge success. No Yoshi's Woolly World yet, but it's gonna happen. My two main priorities today are to record that tech haul video I just mentioned. Holy dark glasses. And then... What else? Oh. Preview... Really, Maui? Maui loves boxes. Preview the patrons only vlogity vlog. Which is, once again, over an hour long. I don't know how I do it. Come on, let's be honest. We all know how I do it because I like to talk. And I do not get lazy with my content. So patrons, I hope you're enjoying it. What's that noise I hear? Something outside. Hey, right. resume. Fred. Stop by, look. There's a little preview, a little Stop preview. My riding mower. It's nothing over Really, Mally? That's a little dramatic. It's a riding mower. Come on. Would you look at that? I'm once again booting up my HP Pavilion. But only to download a couple Twitch streams from last night. Really? Choose your keyboard layout. Why is it going through this again? That's weird. I mean, I haven't booted in at least a few weeks. It's not that it's bad, it's just I'm more of a Mac guy, but. Sometimes it's nice to have a Windows notebook in the house. And let's face it, I have two Windows notebooks and one Windows desktop. Actually, two or three Windows desktops if you count my little uh, miniature ones on the TV and whatever. But yes, there it is, the HP Sprout, my main Windows desktop. I don't really use it. I'm probably giving it to my mom soon since she loves scrapbooking and she could really take advantage of the uh, touch mat, which is pretty sweet actually. But anyway, I'm looking to download some Twitch streams and I've tried it using a tool from a website on my Mac, but apparently this program only supports Windows. And I've tried other sites, but it just doesn't work. I don't know if because Twitch changed their API or what. And that one site limits you to 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Come on, you're talking to me. That's just ridiculous. Anyway, that's doing something. Maybe some kind of Windows update? I'm not sure. 
But yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm trying to download last night's Halo 5 uh, streams that I'll stitch them together for YouTube. Of course. I mean, why wouldn't it work properly? Really? Seriously, come on. I'm thinking I'll just inspect the page myself, find a download file, and then save it that way. I mean, I've done that in the past, and yes, I've tried keepvid.com. That only works for YouTube. I mean, not only, but that's worked for YouTube for me in the past. But for some reason, it does not work for Twitch. I got this, I got this, I'll figure it out. Oh my God, this is too awesome. Yesterday, I was talking about this in my patients only vlog, but now today it's official. Munchpack basically emailed me asking if they could use some footage of my family and myself unboxing Munchpack and Driftwood for the video background of their website. And it's live. This is huge Munchpack. Guys, thank you so much. Look at that, there it is. So watch, if you do a refresh. Wait, hold on, let me actually get on Safari. Refresh. Boom! Look at that! Holy crap! Munchback, I love you guys. You guys are truly awesome, thank you. Okay, so I finally figured it out. That Windows app pretty much sucked, but I found an app on the Mac. It's called JDownloader2, and apparently this is the beta. But it worked fine. I mean, quality is a little degrading right here. You can see it's kind of like that buffery, pixelated look. But you know what? It's the best we're gonna get right now until Xbox One introduces support for YouTube gaming. And I can only assume that's gonna happen eventually. So I really, really hope it does because YouTube gaming makes it so convenient for video creators like myself to just put it on my channel. I mean, granted, I'll still download it and edit it, but the quality is so much better that way rather than having to fetch the download from Twitch. Actually, with that said, if you guys would rather see a high-res version of my Halo 5 stream, just check out my Twitch link right below. That's not always going to be there because I'm not some Twitch premium member or whatever they call it. Uh, but regardless, I'm happy to be able to share it on YouTube for now. So cool. Hey, this is better than nothing. And I'm definitely excited to play Halo 5 more later today. But first, I have to record today's tech haul, eat lunch, and then I'll play. Damn, would you look at that. Over two hours long. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I feel kind of guilty with the quality not looking as great as it could. But trust me, guys. I did a lot of research, and that seems to be my best option at the moment. But again, Xbox, if you guys happen to be watching, please introduce um, support for YouTube gaming. That, that'll that make the worlds of a difference, and I, I will love you guys forever. Not that I don't already love you, because thank you for introducing me to Halo 5 early. You know, you know, I love it. Seriously, um, I'm excited to play it later. Uh, but first, priorities. I must get some food in my system, because I've barely eaten anything today. I actually might make this. Cheddar broccoli rice. That sounds good. Something easy. Or do I have anything else? I don't know. I'm actually I'm actually in the mood for rice. I really, really want to play Halo 5. But I have to record today's video first. It's all about time management and dropping vinyl records in your kitchen floor. That's how you find success in life. Now, actually this is for my dad since I don't have a vinyl record player. I'm just going to give this to him and... Well, hopefully, you know, listen to it next time I'm at their house. Fur. Speaking of fur, look at this one. He does nothing throughout the day. He doesn't pay rent. He doesn't help around the house. He just lays there and looks cute. Or lies there. That's the more correct terminology, right? It's okay, Maui. It's okay. You're amazing. What an awesome little key. Look at that fur. Oh, yeah. Oh, barber. It's so dirty, Maui. I gotta give you a bath. Just stirring that rice. It's pretty much done. You gotta love rice. It's so easy, yet so filling. Turn that shite off. Hey, Maui. I know, Maui. There's a big ass box in my kitchen, which I already walked into once, and it hurt like a mother. It's okay, though. It's okay. Ooh, see that? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know why I do the things that I do. Because I'm myself. 
I'm always looking outside. I don't know if anyone's coming over today. There was supposed to be a guy that came over this week to measure how large my bedroom and office are because I'm finally getting these very old floors replaced. So that's only going to make my office look even better, which shall be awesome. And that area rug, it's still temporary. Temporary. I have problems with that word. Temporary. So yes, we got some good, good changes in the works. And now he loves that box. Look at that booty. Jesus. All right, lunchtime. I guess I'll watch an episode of I'll talk about it when I'm done the show because I don't want people to spoil it for me. There's always that one idiot out there. And I'm not going to encourage that kind of behavior. Simple as that, you know. Okay, so I'm going to watch an episode of that and eat lunch just to kill a little bit of time. I'm hoping Yoshi's Woolly World arrives before I make my tech haul video. That way I can show it alongside the Amiibo. Diane, thank you again. You are awesome. And I'll check in in a bit. And there you have it. I just recorded a David's Tech Hall video, which I think will go up on Wednesday. I'm pretty sure Wednesday. And there's my level end amiibo display from Raymond. Again, dude, thank you so much. Yoshi's Woolly World amiibo from Diane Ferguson. Diane, you are awesome. And over here is my dual charging dock for the DualShock 4. Thank you again so much, Kevin. And finally, last but not least, my Apple Watch dock slash, well, stand, slash iPhone stand. So thank you so much for that, Nancy. And I don't know why I said last but not least, but this just arrived while I was eating lunch. Check it out, guys. Yoshi's Woolly World. I'm not gonna play it until I beat Halo 5 because I just wanna concentrate on that. But I'm hoping to beat that by tonight and I can start this maybe tonight or as late as tomorrow. We'll see. My plan for this weekend is tomorrow I'm making kind of a me day. I just wanna hang out here, put some time into these games. Teresa and her husband might be coming over tomorrow to paint the garage. I'm not sure. That's kind of up in the air, and if not, they'll just come over on uh, Monday. But either way, tomorrow's definitely a relaxation day for me. I, j I just wanna play games, and Sunday will be my socialize with friends day. Hopefully, maybe, maybe, we'll see. Depends what Chris and Tim are doing. Oh God, I think I'm dying. Um, I'm hoping to maybe go over to their house Sometime in the afternoon on Sunday to get some RCing in because we, we haven't done some RCing in quite a while. At least I haven't with them. And yeah, if so, that shall be fun. All right, let's edit that video with some coffee on the side. Obviously. Oh shit. Still have to build this cube organizer freaking thing. Nah, it, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. I would just rather play video games, but one thing at a time. Hey, listen, keep them busy. I cannot stand the idea of being bored, and I honestly cannot remember the last time I was bored. I, I just can't. There's always, always something to do. Unlike this one, just hanging out with Skeletor. Hey, Mal. Maui, I want to play Halo 5 so bad, but I must edit. Because the more work I get done now, the more I can play later. That's what it's all about, guys. Time management. I have to do the dishes. Might as well do that now. And please ignore that rust. There's only so much I can do. Actually, this sink is coming out soon. And this dishwasher is coming out. I have literally never, ever used this dishwasher. And I never will. Because my rule is, you use a dish and you clean it within hours. And that's what I always do. So yes, these counters will be replaced, sink taken out. We're going from a dual sink to a single sink because I don't need that side. And I believe we're gonna install another counter right here, put a backsplash on the back as opposed to the front and just make this kitchen look better. Lots of good stuff in the works. It's gonna take a little while, but we got some good stuff coming. By we, I mean me. I'm the only one who lives here. But my Aunt Teresa will obviously be helping and her husband and a friend of theirs will be painting the garage. It was recently power washed, which took off a lot of the old paint, which is fine because we were planning on painting it anyway. You can see where it all came off right there. Looks all g headified but in a good way. That only means good things are coming. Right now, 
All right, what's wrong with me? I feel hyper. Like, I, I feel really freaking energetic today. I could ride a moose. Well, that just happened. I just did a quick photo shoot of the Yoshi. <laughs> For, um, Instagram. Instagram.com slash David DeFranco. Follow me. It's right down there. Click and follow. I appreciate it. All right, I just got a package in the mail from FedEx. I have no idea what this is. It could be something from a viewer. I don't know. My battery's getting kind of low in this. Well, battery. So I'm gonna have to rush through this. Ah, blah, blah, blah. One of these days, I'm gonna poop myself opening boxes. It's happened before. How dare you? Oh, sh shite. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. <laughs> like, this is truly a first world problem. It's a Wi-Fi thermostat. And I don't know if I can use this yet. I've been meaning to message a company. They wanted to sponsor this video. Hmm, we'll see, we'll see. God, I'm getting hot. I can, I can feel my skin breaking out. These are probably press notes. We are absolutely thrilled to have your support for our, uh, to have your support for our first YouTube vlogger campaign. Cool. I really hope I can install that. It depends on the wiring of the house. I don't see why not. It's a thermostat, right? It's nothing too complex. What is this? It's a flash drive. Eight gigabyte. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder why that's in there. Maybe as a... Oh, you will also find a USB flash drive that contains our brand assets and a list of our top performing keywords to help with your SEO efforts. Wow, that's the first time a company's ever sent me a flash drive with their press info, like, you know, images, clips, and whatever to help out with my YouTube review. Emerson, that is impressive. That's very, very impressive. Uh, I'm gonna look into this over the weekend, see if I can use it, and I guess I got an eight gigabyte flash drive in the process. Not a bad deal, guys. Today is definitely a good day. Sweet, and there it is. It's a thermostat that I can change with my phone, which I've actually wanted before, because sometimes if I sleep over at my parents' house and I leave the air on too low or the heat on too high, I'm like, crap, I forgot to change the thermostat. But now, in theory, that should no longer be an issue. Awesome. Have I mentioned how much I love my job? My job? You guys make this possible, so thank you so much. It's time to play Halo 5. Let's do this. I'm pretty sure my work is done for the day. Of course, I left my TV on earlier because I accidentally turned on my PS4 while making my tech haul video, which, by the way, is exporting right now. Wait a minute, go back there, go back there. That looks pretty cool for me, doesn't it? Oh, hello, Steve. That's funny, the little face box pops up, even though we're this far. Impressive, Canon, impressive. Well done, well done. Xbox, on. Xbox, on. Mmm, a little delay there, interesting. It's okay, I'll let you slide. It's time, guys, let's play. Oh, my controller. It's so far. What do I do? And there's proof. For anybody doubting me, I don't know why anybody would doubt me, but what can I say? I'm proud of it. Halo 5, that is mine. And don't forget, I will be um, still accepting my pre-order for Halo 5. So just because I got this for free, it doesn't mean I'm not going to not pay for it. That right there is a double negative. There's the main menu. Awesome game. Alright, let's continue. Of course. I cannot show you guys anything due to my embargo, but believe me, it's pretty damn good. This is pretty freaking cool. <laughs> I'm on mission 13, and obviously I can't give details, but let me tell you, you will not be let down with mission 13. It's pretty freaking cool. Well, it's technically a transition from 
Mission 12 and into 13. I think, I don't know. Either way, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. You'll have a very cool moment. Let me just say that. All right, it is time to take a break. Well, at least as dinner cooks, and then I'll take a break. I have to actually eat dinner. Tonight's dinner, chicken cordon bleu with I don't know. I have all these veggies, but I don't know what side to have. What would you guys do? Mac and cheese, sweet corn and butter, super sweet corn. I don't know why there's so many freaking different corns in this world. Honey glazed carrots, Arby's fries, that's not a vegetable. Or penne and vegetable with Alfredo sauce. These are always really good. I love this stuff. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while! Ugh. I'm really, really, really hoping I can beat Halo 5 tonight. That way I can build this, and then tomorrow I can concentrate on Yoshi's Woolly World. We'll see what happens. But for now, let's preheat the oven to 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit. No. Only 400. But close. Hey Siri, set a timer for 25 minutes. I love it. Hands free. What's not the love? Boom! And while that cooks, let's make some more progress in Halo 5 Guardians. Alright. That's enough for now. Man, that is difficult, guys. Playing on Heroic, it's challenging as hell. But that is a good thing. That is a very good thing. Because I do not like it when games are too easy. Believe me, I've been there. Hey, Mal. Time to eat? Me too. We can eat dinner at the same time. Smashing! He is not amused. My chicken cordon bleu looks smaller than usual. Maybe that's because I have a crap load of pasta on the plate. I do love pasta. Xbox, turn off. Yes. Time for some Netflix. And yes, I know, I know. Netflix is technically available on the Xbox One, but you guys know me. I love my Apple TV. I use it every day. And I cannot wait until the new one comes out. This show is so freaking good. I'll talk about it when I finish it, but I just finished episode, let me see, I think eight. Oh, episode nine, yeah, so my next one's episode 10. I can count, yay! All right, that's done. Back to Halo 5. Come on guys, priorities. Xbox on. Perfect. And I apologize for anybody who just happens to have an Xbox One. I probably just turned your console on if it's in the same room. You. Xbox. Go to Halo 5 Guardians. Profile required. I know, I know. It's because I didn't technically sign into my Xbox One account. And there you go. It's a great game, guys. It really is. Wait a minute. To make this even better, let's make some coffee. That screen looks so bright. There you go, that's better. Holy exposure adjustment. By the way, as expected, the music is just great. Love that piano. And of course some violin. You gotta love it. Holy shit! You hear that music? I just beat Halo 5 on heroic difficulty. I can't say too much, but it was good. It was very good. Very good. 
I want to say things, but I can't. I'm under, I'm under an embargo for like two weeks, so obviously I'm not going to say anything. But it was good. Let me just say this now. If you're a Halo fan, you're going to love it. And there's that. Of course, I'll talk about this more in two weeks. But I enjoyed it. I did. I, I want to say something so bad about the last mission. But I can't. Remind me. Please. Remind me on Twitter. Like, two weeks from today. Tweet me saying, David, don't forget to talk about this in the weekend vlog. What did you think about the ending in Halo 5? Okay? So, there you have it. Xbox, if you happen to see this, thank you so much. I am truly honored to be one of the first people to finish Halo 5's campaign. And of course, I'm still just scratching the surface. Multiplayer is where the real, real fun begins, and then Forge comes out in December. So I still have a lot of Halo 5 to experience. And yes, I will be going through the campaign again when I get my physical copy in the mail. I'm not gonna reinstall the game, I just wanna have it in my collection so I can physically see it. But cool, cool. Multiplayer starts next week, so I'll jump into that. Now for the rest of the night, I'm going to start building that eight cube organizer. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna finish it tonight because it's already 1.30. But if not, then I'll definitely finish it tomorrow. And tomorrow, I'm also going to start Yoshi's Woolly World. That is a definite. That will be happening. So awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Halo 5, it's done. Cool. Awesome stuff. All right. It's about 2 a.m. But I'm going to start this anyway. Because why not? And now, to make this fun, you guys get to watch me make a fool of myself. Yay! This thing is heavy as hell. I don't know why people say that. Is hell, is hell really heavy? Does anybody actually know that? So let's stop saying things that might not even be true. Damn it, now I'm pissed. All right, here we go. See if okay, come on. Let's see, let's see if I can do this. Yeah! <laughs> Damn it, stop. You have to... You have to get the zone! You ready ladies? You're about to get a free show. Oh yeah, look at that booty. Look at that freaking booty. That was heavy. Mal, he's like, what the heck is going on? I don't know, Mal. Chaos. Let's just call it chaos. But this is definitely going to be worth it. It's going to be so nice finally having that wall kind of cleaned up. As for that thing, I don't, I don't know where that's going to go, actually. Maybe somewhere in here? This corner is temporary. Actually. Just to kind of throw this out there, this setup is kind of temporary. I have a very special product that a certain company agreed to send me. So we'll see. And this corner could get really interesting. And in here could get interesting. Right around there. Yes, one single change on my primary setup will dramatically change over here and over here. Really, Maui? I gotta open that. And in the background, I'll watch some kind of random movie. On the Netflix. Oh, yeah. Halo 5 was great. I just wish I could play multiplayer, but I cannot. Xbox, turn off. Yeah, sure. Yes.
And speaking of Halo, I sold my Master Chief helmet from my Mega Bloks set, I think. Look at that. Looks pretty cool. And I think it looks great on top of the Xbox 360, which I haven't turned on in quite some time, but it's there just in case. Hey, Dave. So apparently I opened the box up like an ape. Maui likes it. Seriously. <laughs> I just ripped it open and look at the pieces they're huge they're actually really thick wood unlike past furniture things I put together if you look at this it's real thin wood which isn't so bad I mean I got that for what maybe $30 $30 $20 I'm not sure but uh, this one costs about 60 or 70 from uh, walmart.com for some reason on Amazon it was more like 80 so this is actually cheaper on um, Walmart's website it's pretty cool all right time to start building I'll probably make one more cup of coffee it's 2 30 and I'm watching Christmas with the cranks for like the 20th time Ifinito. about one movie length later and I am done there you go as you can see it's pretty big and I'm impressed at how thick the wood is. Awesome. It's, it's just wobbly right now because of how it's sitting. It's not going to sit right there. It's obviously going to sit over there. But cool. Not bad for about $60, $65 or so. I am definitely happy with the quality. It looks a lot better than this one. And it feels a lot better. Uh, so I guess tomorrow's project is to get whatever else I want off of that onto here. Or maybe my amiibo will go on there and that stuff will go over there. Because this is more future proof because there's a lot more room for my amiibo. My text clock will go up here. My level end display for my amiibo will probably go up here as well. And finally, keep in mind once again, the height is just about right here with the outlet. So that's perfect. Boom. Anyway, if you guys are interested in buying that, organizer for yourself. I will link you to Walmart right below. Enjoy and I guess I'll watch an episode of The Office or Girl Meets World. I don't know. But I will see you guys in the morning. Peace! Yeah. Hold on guys. I'm not in bed yet. Last minute I decided to order a second one of these. Yep, I went to Walmart.com, went to my account history, and I ordered a second one. Because I measured the heights of this horizontally, you know, just going this way or whatever. Because then I got thinking, what if I buy a second one and just stack it on top of this one? So I measured how high that would be, and it would be about to half of the outlet. So not only is that pretty much the same idea that I wanted to do already, but I'm getting double the space. Yeah, I mean, I'm spending double the money. I mean, both of these together was about $140 which isn't crazy considering all the space I'm gonna save. And that's definitely future-proofing myself with Amiibo. Eventually I wanna get some cable organizers to uh, you know put all my HDMI cables in there, all my USB cables, my lightning cables. That's, that's just another project I've been thinking about for a while. And honestly, look at it. It's so much sturdier when standing horizontally. I mean, vertical, it was okay, and it's not like I'm going to be stacking, you know, heavy, heavy items on this thing. And now, guys, just picture two of these back there. All of the cubes, 16 cubes for Amiibo and action figures and collectibles and whatever else I want to put there. That is going to look so awesome against that wall. This is exactly why I painted my office white, because I love the look of white furniture. And I'm thinking about getting a white desk at some point and then using my Ikea Joker for that idea I have in mind that I kind of teased about earlier. But that's a ways off. That's a ways off. But for now, I think this is really exciting. Um, I'm not even going to bother setting it up. I'm just going to set it aside for now. Then when the second one arrives, either Monday or Tuesday, I'll build that and stack it on top. I just feel sorry for the FedEx guy because... Um, he brought this one this morning, 90 pounds, and I don't know if he used a hand truck or not. I'm, I'm sure he did. Mr. FedEx, if you happen to see this, I appreciate your service. 
All right, guys, for real this time. Coffee, and let's go to bed because I'm feeling very yellow. Maui? Good morning, Maui. How are you? Oh, baby. You look tired. You okay? He's like, I want to go to sleep. Me too, Mal. Me too. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm, gl I'm glad I'm up. Um, I only got like five hours of sleep because <laughs> I went to bed around 5.30 and woke up to at 10.30. Uh, because Teresa's husband, Fred, is over with his friend. They're outside painting. I don't know if you can see. Exposure adjustment. There you go. So they'll be out there for a few hours doing work. And guys, you know what? That's kind of my excuse to stick around the house today and not go out. Except for Wawa, maybe. Might hit up Wawa for some gaming snacks. But I'm definitely excited to just sit around today and jump in the Yoshi's Woolly World. I am definitely excited about that. It's been so freaking long since I've been th this excited and hyped about booting up my Wii U console. Yeah, I know, it's been a while. It's been a while. All right, first, let's make some coffee. Mm, yes. Ah, so that's how you do it. Boom, Twitch. Poncho. Alright, now that I have your attention. Seriously, dude, thank you so much. Shout out to you for pointing out the obvious to me. Um, apparently, Twitch has a video manager, and you can export directly to YouTube, which makes things so much easier. So now I just have to export to YouTube, and then download those YouTube videos via keepvid.com. That's the site I use, and it works perfectly. I just freaking love it. Um, but I never knew Twitch had a video manager. Which I guess makes sense that it does. It's really no different than YouTube. It's just saves streams and whatever. But yeah, I mean, this is good news. So now I'm going to start over on that um, little video project. Get those two videos exported. Stitch them together. Re-export. And then upload to YouTube. Thank you, Poncho. Thank you. And guys, keep in mind, I rarely use Twitch. So I guess I overlooked it. But now I know. So that's good. The more you know. I need coffee. Thankfully, it's right there. Let's consume. Oh, hello, organizer. This guy is insane. Yeah, I've actually been um, sub to him for a while now, but I haven't really watched his videos in a long time. So this is like my third or fourth one I've watched. That's, you know, a bit of skipping around. But look at that background too. That background's incredible. That architecture, oh my gosh, just mind blowing. And those dance moves. Well, if it wasn't hit with copyright already, there it goes. Ooh, would you look at that? I just got two packages one from Josephia and the other one from Paul Yeo. Or Yeo. Yeah, it's probably Yeo. Yeah, Paul. I apologize. But um, anyway, Paul was nice enough to hook me up with an amiibo a while ago. And in this box might be another amiibo. I don't know. And Josiah, I have no idea what you said. So I'll unbox them in a bit. Just want to finish my coffee and getting emails. Okay, cool. Stay tuned. Shout out to Dylan Goncalves. I hope I got that right. Check it out. Hold on. I was not prepared for this clip, apparently. There you go. So, what Dylan did is he scanned his Dr. Mario amiibo in Yoshi's Woolly World. And what the game does is it takes attributes from that amiibo and kind of murders them with Yoshi and comes out with this creepy contraption. That's just weird. But really cool at the same time. I'm so glad to see that Amiibo are actually useful. I mean, obviously I love my Amiibo. I don't regret getting any of them because I'm a big fan. But sometimes you just import them into games, you level them up, and then that's it. I mean, that's how it is in Smash Brothers. Uh, but this, this actually looks unique. So in theory, you can make some creepy looking Yoshis. And I'm very curious to see what Yoshi's going to look like with Princess Peach. That's going to be pretty funny. Of course, I'll show you guys. But first, what do you say we unbox these? And then I shall start Woolly World. That's a sweet shot of my setup. I like that. Alright. Let's do this, guys. Let's do it. First up, Josephia. 
I have no idea what this is. Box of Maine. I'm guessing it's like random snacks that you guys have in Maine, maybe? This lighting is terrible, hold on. Let me bring in the old video light. Watch this. Boom, what a difference. It's not even, but that's okay. So Josiah, thank you so much for this, whatever it may be. I don't care if it's a vajangle or a bag of chips. I just appreciate the fact that you went out of your way to send me something, and I will link your Twitter right below. I don't know, I'll text you. We'll see. Wow. David, here's a little gift of some delectable treats from the state of Maine. I was correct. Um, I want to thank you for everything that you do, and especially for providing us with free content. Caps, free, love it. I value our friendship, and I hope for our friendship to continue for years to come. Thank you again, your friend Josiah. <laughs> Josiah, you're so nice. No, but seriously, Josiah, it has been great getting to know you. And it's actually because of my Patreon campaign that I've made new friends over the past year or so between you and Joey and Kevin and, and it's just everybody. It's, it's just great. And Ellie, it, it, it's awesome. It's awesome that I've made new friends. And of course, there's others that I haven't mentioned. Don't worry, I'm not, I'm not playing favorites. But if I go through the list, I'll take forever. But if I talk to you personally, then you know who you are. And I appreciate your presence. Presence, as in being here, not as in gifts. But I do appreciate the gifts. Well, now you seem to send me again. I'm just like, hey, dude. Let's let's see what's inside. Ooh, 2015 lodging guide. If I ever want to go lodging in Maine, then you get. Oh, oh, I found a great place for waffles. Right there, right there. It is Lord Camden Inn. If you've heard of it and you're from Maine, comment right below. I'm curious. And by the way, you're sitting on my new shelf. Oh, yes! Maine maple popcorn! Hell yes! Dude, that is awesome! I will definitely be eating that later while doing some gaming. Ooh, what is this? Whatever it is, it's got some nice weight to it. Oh, wild Maine blueberry jam! So there you go, wild Maine blueberry jam from Stonewall Kitchen. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that brand. But I will be using this eventually on toast or perhaps an English muffin. We have another one. Actually, no, this looks like Ray's Mustard Down East Sooner. Interesting. I do love mustard. So I will be giving this a shot. Oh, actually, oh, hold on. Josiah, this is actually perfect because I bought those super pretzels weeks ago. Um, and I've got to make any, so perhaps I'll make some tonight, and I'll dedicate that pretzel or two to you. Cool. And finally, oh wait, they were also nice enough to include peanuts. And by they, I don't know if the people at Box of Maine do this, or just maybe you get to pick the items, which could be pretty cool. Okay, so finally, last but not least, wait, hold on. Actually, we do have more things. Ooh, a welcome to Maine magnet, the way life should be. I don't think I've ever been to Maine, but I probably will at some point. It's, it's not that far. Boxofmaine.com. So there you go, guys, if you want to check them out. Boxofmaine.com. It's probably not focusing, but what else is new? So this, oh, it's coffee. Josiah, you know me so freaking well. Acadia Roasts. Acadia, like the car. Very cool. Anyway, Josiah, thank you so much for all these items. That was very nice of you and an awesome surprise. I will message you on Facebook right after this next clip uh, to confirm the products, the package's arrival. All right, Paul. Paul Yayo, you're up next. And disclaimer, if this is an Amiibo and I have it already, don't worry, I like collecting Amiibo no matter what. Ooh, but it doesn't look like it's Amiibo. Huh. Oh wait, it is. Wait, hold on. Lego superheroes. Cool. We got a Superman Lego minifig. Awesome. This is actually perfect because of my shelf. I'm gonna have to fill it up with things. Very sweet. Awesome. TMNT. I'm, sa I'm saving the amiibo for last. Ooh. 
an iPhone 6s Plus case. Now, I gotta be honest, I don't own the Plus, I own the iPhone 6s, but that's okay. Um, I'll talk to my mom or dad and see, see if they want this because this looks really hot. It's got a lime green border, which is my favorite color, by the way. So well done. And I'm sorry that I can't use it, but hey, you never know. Maybe I'll get the Plus next year. Uh, you know, the iPhone 7 or 7S in two years. And perhaps the uh, size won't change all that much, so I can still use this. But honestly, I'll probably just give this to my parents since they have the Plus. But cool. Awesome. All right. The best part of all, Amiibo. Ooh, I do not have this one yet. Shulk. Very cool. Awesome. And secondly, Pit. You know, I never played Skies of Arcadia. Is that what it's called? And guys, honestly, that's a sad thing to admit because I have it for 3DS. I just, I just never got around to playing it because I'm not a big mobile gamer. I'm more of a console gamer. Sit on my couch, enjoy the big screen TV, surround sound. But still, I definitely appreciate this. Pit, and it's an amiibo I don't already have, which makes me feel better because sometimes I'm scared of getting the same amiibo from uh, viewers and then I have to say, yeah, I already have this. But if that did happen, I would just keep one in the case and the other outside of the case. But um, anyway, Paul, Josiah, thank you so much for these awesome, awesome surprises. This is very cool. And actually, I'll open these right now. So there you go. There is Pit. Excellent. Put him right there. And Shulk. Ooh, that actually looks really good. I'm not familiar with Shulk, to be perfectly honest. Maybe he's in Skies of Arcadia. But hold on. That's why we have this little thing called Google. And I know I'm probably tearing the hearts out of certain gamers out there. I've just never played a game of Shulk. Oh, he's from Xenoblade. Now that explains it because I've actually never played a Xenoblade game. But let me know, is it worth it? And if so, perhaps I'll check it out because I'm trying to play my Wii U more. And since the Wii U plays Wii games, I see that Xenoblade Chronicles is on the Wii. So I might check it out, and it's probably cheap by now, right? So cool. Anyway, Josiah and Paul, thank you so much. I will link you guys right below because, Paul, I know you're on Instagram. You take excellent photos. And Josiah, I'll ask you whether you want to use your website, Twitter, or whatever. You guys are awesome. Thank you again. Hold up, I have a quick correction. I said Skies of Arcadia mistakenly before. I meant to say Kid Icarus Uprising. Um, this is the game that I have for 3DS that I actually never got around to playing. Uh, so that's why I'm not too familiar with Pit. I mean, I've obviously seen him around before, but um, I've played the other games from Nintendo, obviously. And actually, if you guys are curious, I'll show you all the amiibo I am familiar with in terms of playing their games. Samus, yes. Jigglypuff, yes. Charizard, yes. Bowser Jr., yes. Diddy Kong, yes. Um, Sheik, yes, but I'm not too familiar. Uh, Little Mac, I never really got into that, to be honest. Mario, obviously. Villager, yes. Oh, hell yeah. Link, obviously. Alamar and Pikmin, yes. Mega Man, yes. Zelda, yes. Wii Fit Trainer, yes. Um, Pikachu, yes. Star Fox, Donkey Kong, Samus, Toon Link, Kirby, Bowser, Sonic, Dr. Mario, uh, Peach, Meta Knight. Uh, Pac-Man, Yoshi, Luigi, yes to that entire shelf. And down here, obviously Yoshi, I'll be playing them today. And up here, uh, my two um, special Mario, uh, silver and gold. And the 8-bit Mario, obviously that's what started it all. So now we can add these two. I'm, I'm just saying it because sometimes people judge me like, David, how, how do you not know this? Well, I mean, that's kind of proof right here. Like. I obviously know my stuff, but I haven't played every single um, franchise out there. But you know what? This is kind of my excuse to try to get into it. So perhaps I'll finally play Kid Icarus and give Xenoblade a shot. I had to think about it for a second. All right, now, where to put these? This is exactly why getting this new shelf set up will be awesome. Because as you can see, it's fairly balanced right now. And if I add these amiibo to anywhere, it'll kind of throw it off balance. So for now, temporarily, I'll just put them down there. That's not so bad. 
Also, shout out to Michael Eng over at youtube.com slash MikeENG16. Um, he was nice enough to send me an Amazon gift card yesterday, which was another nice surprise. You guys are truly the best. So check out Mike right below. I know, I know. You guys have plenty of links to check out. But that's what it's all about. Community, community, community. Helping each other out. So go there, subscribe, follow, and all that good stuff. And by the way, you want to see something scary? Yeah. So there's that. You can just look at that for a minute. All right, Fred and his friend just left. I talked to him for a little bit. The front of the garage, once again, looks new. Very nice. And he actually power washed my steps the other day. Um, I think he's gonna put like a coating of stain or something to make them look even better. But as you can see, these steps look so much cleaner than they previously did which is awesome and the shed is finally gone that thing was always an eyesore i mean it never really bothered me to be honest but now that we have all this space for activities get an activity step brothers dumb but uh yeah it's just it's just good then our next project is to get this tree out of here isn't it scary that this huge branch could fall at any moment and puncture my chest here you go guys look at me I'm such a risk taker. Nah, I mean, chances are good it's not gonna fall by itself, so we're gonna make it fall and just hope this entire tree falls that way. It's gonna be a controlled fall, hopefully. And if something goes wrong, then the garage will get crushed. It is what it is. All right, this is good. It's only two o'clock and I saw the full day to myself. I mean, I don't, I don't mind having people over doing work, but it's nice to know when you're by yourself again. Peace of mind, you can play your games, watch your movies without interruption. So, awesome. Shout out to Aunt Teresa and Fred for doing that, I appreciate it. I guess I should have lunch first before jumping into Wooly World, because like, I, I kinda just wanna sit down and enjoy it without having to get up. So, I think I'll make some Stouffer's French bread pizza. Stuff is always good. Sweet baby Jesus. That does look good. I love me some pizza with a side of milk. So it might be time to turn the air on. It's getting cool in here. It's 55 outside and 66 in here. I haven't done this in a while. And my hands are actually kind of cold and I don't want to play games with cold hands. So here we go, heat. And then let's do 72 and just hope it comes on nice you okay down there heater i know it's been a while using up that oil since i actually got a full tank a full tank for less than 400 dollars. that's good i mean granted i already had about a quarter tank in there but oil prices are so cheap right now so i got that sucker filled up which is awesome. All right, let me finally finish my pizza. I keep getting distracted with interruptions or whatever. Finish an episode of rah, 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 and then finally jump into freaking Yoshi's Wooly World already. Silhouette mode. Damn, this heat kicks ass. Turn that down to 70. It's toasty in here. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Coffee, check. Wii U Pro Controller, check. Wii U Gamepad, check. Yoshi's Wooly World Amiibo, check. Yoshi's, we, we, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Yoshi's Wooly World on the Wii U, check. Let's do this. I don't know if I'm gonna play with the gamepad, I'm just using this for now so I can scan the Amiibo. I might choose to play with this, so we'll see. All right guys, I'll follow up with some thoughts in a bit. This is so cool. I am currently importing my entire Amiibo collection into Yoshi's Woolly World. Now, unfortunately, the game doesn't support every single one, but so far, from what I can tell, it supports most of them. Probably like 85 to 90%. For instance, watch, I'll scan Pikachu. And Yoshi transforms. Oh, okay. Wow. This one does not support Pikachu. I find that very surprising. Interesting. All right, so I am on my last two Amiibo. 
Now this one will definitely work. Toad, wait for it. Toad Yoshi. That's awesome, isn't it? Now Peach is just plain funny. This is my second Peach, but it's gonna be the same design. But I'm just doing this for the vlog's purpose. Watch this. <laughs> I love that one. That is so funny. So, going over here to the big screen, these are all the amiibo I just imported. Look at that. They even have Dr. Mario. No, this one blew my mind. The fact that they're fully supporting Sonic. Check that out. And hold on, let me press X for a close up view. Look at that. That is so cool. It's just weird it doesn't support Pikachu, but it supports Sonic. Isn't that kind of odd? I mean, it's not a big deal, but still, it's just interesting to think about. And there's Samus. Look at that, that's so cool. Dr. Mario is a funny looking one. Let me go to full screen. Look at that. That is so cool. So first impressions of Yoshi's Woolly World. I'm loving it. It's such a freaking adorable game. Seriously, it is the most positive and colorful game I've played in a while. And honestly, it's a breath of fresh air. After obsessing over games like GTA and Destiny, and now freaking Halo 5. I don't know why I'm saying freaking, I just like to say freaking because it emphasizes it. I mean, I love all those games. They're just a lot of fun. But there's something about Nintendo. They're just so cheerful and innovative and unique and fun. It's fun. That's exactly what Yoshi's World, Woolly World is. It's fun and it's just further proof that Nintendo has not lost its ability to create unique games. Oh snap. Extremely low battery warning. But you know what? That's my excuse to eat dinner because it's already seven o'clock and well, I'm pretty hungry. Also, I just shared an exclusive video of mine on Facebook. And well, I've shared three exclusive videos of mine on Facebook in recent days. So follow me on Facebook, facebook.com slash David DeFranco. I'm gonna start using Facebook to upload minute long videos, like one minute, two minutes, about things going on throughout my day, like video games I enjoy, my new furniture back there that I just built last night, and all that good stuff. Follow me. It's free. So tonight's dinner is thin spaghetti, not quite angel hair, but thin, with meat creation sauce. And once again, as always, please excuse my disgusting looking stove. As you can see, it happens because of this. Splatter, splatter, splatter. Anyway, meat creation sauce with a few meatballs, and I'm currently making Texas toast with some extra mozzarella cheese that I put on top. I've never tried that before. And well, I love cheese. Who doesn't? Come on, who doesn't like cheese? Well, that escalated quickly, but it's true. Cheese is awesome. Oh, baby. It has been a while since I made spaghetti and meatballs with Texas toast. That looks amazing. And yes, that is too much food for me. Which means, leftovers for lunch tomorrow. Woot! All right, Netflix time. Oh my God. <laughs> I feel so tired. I went to take a nap for an hour and ended up sleeping for three hours. Yeah, I'm definitely skipping GTA tonight. I'm, I'm just not feeling it. But I'm gonna make some coffee right now. It's 12.30, if you're curious, so the night is young in my eyes. And I'm gonna play Yoshi's Woolly World. Yes, gotta get my Yoshi fix on. Yes, please. I need it. Yoshi, I'm back. I know, I know. Wii U menu. Yes, that fan I have is so loud. I mean, it's not a big deal because you can't really hear it while playing the game. My god, that's bright. Holy crap. And this time, I'm playing with the Wii U Pro Controller. There's nothing really wrong with playing with the gamepad. It's just, it's so massive. So this time, I'm going old, yeah, old school. Old school. David, wake up. I feel so out of it. But I'm not going to bed yet. It's only 1 o'clock. I'm going to enjoy my coffee. Hopefully beat this world because I've already beat the first world. So I'm hoping to beat world two before bed 
still though, awesome game. All right, let's blow some yarn. Pretzel break, and Josiah, I am about to try that mustard that came in that box earlier. Again, for those curious, it's called the Ray's Mustard. So, let's give it a shot. Oh my God. You guys are sitting on top of my pepper, my uh, salt, salt and pepper shakers. It's a little dangerous. All right, so let's get this done fairly quickly. Here we go. Oh God, as the mustard comes pouring out like a mother. I've never made pretzels here in this house and I've lived here for more than three years now. But we had super pretzels recently at Driftwood and actually we used to have them all the time in our old house. Just, just a memory, that box has really never changed all that much. You know, the box design. Hey, Mal. Meow. So here we go. Partly sponsored by Josiah. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That was good. That's very good. Josiah, thank you again. And I'm super pretzel. Thank you. For being super. Mmm. Man, I gotta have pretzels more often. That was good. Do you hear that? My God. I love it. Okay, so I don't know how well the Canon G7X is gonna pick up bass, but the bass and the boss levels, you know, the castles, simply incredible. It just makes me smile, guys. I love bass so much. Right there, hear that? Oh! For, for, for such a bright and cheery game, this game has its dark vibes here and there. I love it. Listen to that. Love it, guys. Boom, boom. Wait for it. Here it comes. Right there. Boom, boom. Incredible. Guys, I cannot express this enough. I mean, I don't know what your budget is on sound, but even if you have to get a cheap surround sound system, get one because bass, it will change your life. And surround sound, especially with gaming, eh, what is that? I don't know what that was. It's just awesome. Now, granted, this game doesn't use surround sound that well, but there's obviously a lot of bass. But for games like, uh, you know, Destiny and Halo and whatever, the surround sound is incredible. Look at Maui. He's just chilling on my table that I apparently need to clean. Yeah, you. Hey, Mal. What you doing? He's like, aren't you ever gonna leave this damn house? No, Maui. This is gaming weekend. I ain't going out. I'm gonna watch an episode of Girl Beats World. Excuse me. And then I'm going to bed. See you guys in the morning. Or the afternoon. Good night, Mal. Good morning. Keurig, you know me so well. Oh, what the freak? My battery's low, guys. I gotta swap it out. Burb. There we go. Brand new, fully charged battery. That's always a good feeling. Anyway, guys, good morning. How's your weekend going? Coming up a lot. Did you do anything exciting? Or did you just be like me and sit around all day, Saturday and Friday and whatever, and play video games? Hey, can you blame me? It's that time of the year when all these new freaking games come out. Um, oh wait, I already took the milk out and I'm losing my mind already. But yes, today I will be playing Yoshi's Woolly World again, obviously. I'm gonna try to play GTA tonight with Chris, Kev, Joey, and all them. Uh, Cause it's been a few days since I played that. Actually, I was gonna play last night, but 
I was so tired. But then again, I ended up staying up to like 5, 5.30 anyway, playing Yoshi's Woolly World and watching Girl Meets World. Which, by the way, that show has gotten a lot better in the second half. Halo. Why do I keep forgetting I took the milk out? But yes, that is today's agenda. Don't expect anything too exciting or riveting. You know what, I'll have sausage. No, I won't. I'm out of sausage. <laughs> oh, yes. Love it. Yoshi Story is still my favorite Yoshi game today. I just love it. Granted, I haven't played it in years, but still. Oh, and by the way, all of the Halo soundtracks are on Apple Music. Oh, crap. That's my music. Apple Music. Hello. I gotta say, I have to, I have to get used to having such a big phone. And if you go to Related, well, more by Martin O'Donnell. Look at that. We have Halo 3, 2, Reach, ODST, uh, more from Halo 3, and of course the original soundtrack. And they also have Halo 4, who is by a different composer. So right there, um, original soundtrack, boom. And we go to more by Neil Davidge. Is that, is that how you say it? Then you have even more Halo 4 music. I'm hoping they add Halo 5. I don't see why not. I mean, especially considering the game hasn't even been released yet. So I do, I do see that happening um, soon. And yes, yeah, so I gotta get used to having such a big form factor. This may not be an iPhone 6S Plus, but this is still a lot bigger than my iPhone 5S was. Check it out. Thursday night's Halo 5 stream from Twitch is now on YouTube. So, enjoy. And of course, because I'm required to say this from Microsoft, and I should hope it's common sense for most people, spoiler alert, do not watch that stream if you do not want to be spoiled. Now, I will say there's not too much going on in the first three missions. It really, really ramps up around, I think like, mission five or six but there is a certain character in the first three missions that they show that i don't know if you'll realize they're in the game that's all i'll say i don't want to spoil anything there you have it in case any of you were wondering what show i've been watching for the past week or two american horror story freak show in other words season four. Oh my god what a freaking show this is one of the best seasons in television that i've ever experienced the story is so well thought out it's incredibly gory like incredibly gory the most violent show i've ever watched aside from movies or whatever it shocks me that they can show some of this stuff on tv especially yeah one scene a few a few episodes ago a certain death that was very, what's the word? Not questionable, controversial. That's the word I was trying, try, trying to think of. That, that was a very controversial episode, but in a good way. Guys, Freak Show is pushing boundaries. Now I am on the last episode coming up now. I'm gonna heat up my lunch. This one's 52 minutes. The episode is called Curtain Call. This is so awesome. Guys, if you're into horror and good drama and blood and gore, watch this show. And if you're not a fan of bloody shows, you will not like this at all. Trust me. Like, it is downright dark as hell. <laughs> but it's so good. Alright, curtain call time, lunch time. Then I'm going to start editing the weekend vlog. That way I have time to play Yoshi's Woolly World later. And GTA and Rocket League. And maybe Halo 5. I've been thinking I might not play Halo 5 again until it actually comes out. I don't know. I'm kind of tempted to go through it for skull hunting. But I don't know how I'm going to find the skulls without looking them up online. And I don't want to look them up online. That defeats the purpose of it being fun and challenging. But of course, like I said, um, yesterday or Friday, I still have multiplayer, obviously. That's like... 70% of the reason why anybody buy, buys Halo. And then Forge. Oh, for a fellow creative like myself, I'm sure you can understand 
how in-depth and how exciting Forge is. Just the ability to create these maps and share them with the friend, your friends and the public, it is so awesome. But okay, David, stop your rambling, heat up your spaghetti, watch American Horror Story, and then wrap up the vlog -a vlog I'll see you guys in a bit. Well, look at this lighting, it's so bright. And there you have it. American Horror Story Season 4 Freak Show is complete. Excellent show. An amazing soundtrack, my god. Thank you, Netflix. I gotta be honest, I'm gonna miss it. It's always a love-hate feeling when you end a show. It's like a bittersweet feeling, Is that's, that's probably the better word. It's bitter because, well, your show's ending, at least that season. And it's sweet because it feels good to wrap things up. Now, I will say this. I wasn't a huge fan of how they ended it. It felt a little abrupt. Uh, but the first half I thought was better than the second half of that episode. But I have never seen so many characters die in a matter of like five minutes on a show before. But don't worry, I'm not going to tell you who and that's not technically spoiling it because there are a lot of characters on this show. Like a lot of characters. And if you guys watch American Horror Story Freak Show, then you know what I'm talking about. But man, that first half of that last episode... Whew, just a bloodbath. It was a massacre. My god. But anyway, excellent show. Again, guys, if you're into horror and if you're into those dark, gritty, bloody, and gory themes, check it out. But if you're not a fan of that stuff, then steer clear because you will probably not feel that good. But hey, I loved it. All right. I think it's time. It is time to edit the weekend's Avalakati vlog. Which means, yes, I am wrapping up the weekend vloggity vlog right now. Because editing always takes about two hours on average. It depends how distracted I am with Netflix in the background. So guys, I am signing off. But as always, I truly appreciate your taking the time out of your day to watch me. Because I know I'm not that exciting, especially on weekends like this where I pretty much didn't socialize at all. I just I just play video games, um, but you know what? That's perfectly fine with me because I'm definitely a homebody. It's just how I am. Anyway, guys, you have an excellent week. Stay productive. Don't forget, next weekend's vlog is gonna be awesome. It should be in theory because Geek Fest is happening. I believe Joey Image is coming back down to South Jersey again for that show. Chris and Tiff are going. I think Josh might be going, or I think we're gonna visit him at his work because he can't go to Geek Fest, but his but his store is at Geek Fest. I don't know. We'll see. But the point is, next week is going to be a lot of fun because South Jersey rarely, rarely has any kind of geek-related events. Because as you know, everything's in Philly, everything's in New York, and then everything else is on the freaking West Coast. Which I can't blame them because the West Coast is pretty cool. Uh, and I hope to live there someday. But that's not going to happen anytime soon. But anyway, that's all I'm trying to say is next weekend is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be very geeky. Geek Fest should be pretty cool. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm going to make some coffee. You know, you can never have too much coffee. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Oh, speaking of tomorrow's video, real quick, hold on. Okay, so tomorrow's video is my first video in a new series that I'm doing. Uh, previously, I accepted your questions over at my website. If you go to there, slash ask, davidthefranco.com slash ask, blah, blah, blah. Um, you would normally submit your questions in text form on an open form, which has worked great in recent years. But honestly, I got kind of bored with that, so I'm trying to kick up the interaction a bit. I want you guys to interact more. I want to see your faces. I want to hear your voices. So from now on, if you go to that website, it's right below davidthefranco.com slash ask. You can now submit your questions in video form. Yes, video form. And if I happen to choose your question, You'll be featured in a video which could get you subscribers, Twitter followers, Facebook likes, all that good stuff. So just something to think about and I think that could be a lot of fun. But you'll see how the format works in tomorrow's video. So Catherine, shout out to you, your first step. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, enjoy your week, be productive, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace!